Ohio's tax holiday is underway. It started on Tuesday and runs through this Thursday, but we've learned a few area businesses have been incorrectly charging sales tax on things that should be tax-free. First News reporter Catherine Simon has what you can do if you were incorrectly taxed during the holiday. This year, Ohio's sales tax holiday was expanded, running for a longer time and including more items. This year, most items $500 or less are supposed to be tax-free, as opposed to previous years when it was limited to some school supplies under $20 and clothing under $75. Nancy Klingensmith tells us her and her husband went into an area store and each individually purchased $10 worth of soda, an item that would normally be taxed but shouldn't be this week with this year's tax holiday rules. I didn't think anything of it and then my husband went and he got charged and he said why the 75 cents it's tax-free weekend and the girl said um I don't know. I don't think we're honoring that. Under this year's tax holiday laws, food at restaurants should also be tax-free. Alcohol is still taxed. But when Clinton Holt went into an area restaurant, he was shocked to see he was taxed for his entire bill. I kind of brought it to her attention. I was like, so with the alcohol that's on this bill, I understand that's not tax-free. That's something you got to pay taxes on, no matter what. But the food items should be tax-free due to the state mandate. Businesses can't choose to not participate in the sales tax holiday. It's set by Ohio law. So she went to go talk to her supervisor. And when she got back to me, she was like, we're not participating in this. So what can you do if you were taxed for something during the sales tax holiday that should have been exempt? According to the Ohio Department of Taxation, retailers should refund tax to any consumer who was charged sales tax on an exempt item during the sales tax holiday. Consumers who were charged tax by a retailer should take their receipt to the retailer for a refund. There's also a form issued by the Ohio Department of Taxation that you can fill out to request a refund if you were incorrectly taxed. You can find that form on our website website wkbn.com. Katherine Simon, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.